Hello, my name is Vera Petanaya. I'm 12 years old and I'm 7th grade in Trampasa Christian School. This is my presentation video for WC 2022. Hope you enjoy. I live in a dense populated port city where there has been a lot of cases of floods and tidal floods, especially in rainy season like at this very time of recording right now. Just a month ago, there had been a sudden flood in my city. According to this data, the most frequent natural disasters in Indonesia are flood. Flood causes many material and immaterial losses. It causes the loss of millions of dollars worth of material. In addition, it also causes health and psychological problems. In my city, there hasn't been any um, flood detectors yet, but there are water pumps to absorb the water after a flood. With AI technology, we can make a solution for these problems. Artificial intelligence can detect water levels and create a warning for civilians to prepare for incoming floods or tidal floods, thus reducing the damage cost. This project is called the AI Flood Detector. With the use of ultrasonic sensors, the AI are able to detect and scan the water level and tell if the condition is safe or not. The data and graphic will be inputted to Google Sheets and Google Site so the civilians are able to access in real time and observe the water level anywhere and anytime. They can also prepare if the water level is high. The AI Flood Detector uses RGB lights to tell the civilians of the water level. A green light shows a normal water level and a red light to show a threatening water level. It will also sound a warning siren to warn the civilians. To make this project, I start with researching and observing the cases of flood in my city and also the damage it caused. The next step, I try to make a simple design of the prototype of the city and the river. After that, I start to build up the city using the stair foam and basin that I borrowed from my mom. Sorry mom. After that, um, I began constructing the sensor and its parts using the M-Core, ultrasonic sensor, and RGB lights. This is how it works. So this is our city. This is the river, and this is the AI flood detector. This is the ultrasonic sensor, this is the RGB lights, and this is the M-Core that powers them all. And now, um, the RGB sensor will show green light if the water level is normal and it will transfer the data into this computer where it, it will be connected with the code and into the google sheet after that it will be transported into the google site now let's see what happens if the water levels rises so this is the normal water level if there is a heavy rain or so this will happen the RGB lights will turn red and the M core will sound a sensor it will sound a siren and then the data will be transported here into the Google site now let's see through the civilian's perspective. This data from Google Sheets will be transported into Google Sites. Okay, let me see here. See, the civilians can see the live water level through this graph. And that is how it works. In conclusion, artificial intelligence can be used to save human life from flood damage and it can also help and warn civilians to prevent further material and immaterial losses as well. Thank you for watching.